in this Excel uh, lesson, I want to cover the fill handle. Um, we can also talk about the fact that we're filling series, uh, which is not quite as easy to understand, I guess. It's not quite as logical. The uh, When you're working in Excel, when you click on a cell, you have uh, three choices as far as what you do when you click and drag your mouse. If you click and drag in the middle, you're just selecting a bunch of cells, right? So if you click and drag while your cursor is a big plus, uh, you're just selecting. However, if you click and drag while it's four arrows, you're moving, all right? Now, the third one is what I want to talk about now is you, you now have what's called the fill handle. And when you click and drag now, depending what it is you have selected, it's going to do two, one of two things. It'll either fill in a series of things or it'll copy whatever it is you had. So because I only have a word here, it's quite likely simply going to copy that word. So it's a real fast, easy way of copying a word to uh, a series of cells that are adjacent. So I could have gone left, right, uh, and up or down with that. So your fill handle would have worked going in any direction. So if I put that here, I'll demonstrate, right? So I can go that way, I can go that way, I can go that way. Now, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably thinking, why would I want to do that? And I agree, you, you may not want to copy a word very often. However, uh, it comes in really handy when you're copying formulas. That's a completely different lesson. But just understand that your fill handle, one of its jobs is to copy things to adjacent cells. All right. The second thing it does is it will complete a series. So here I have not only the word week, but the number one. So if I use your fill, the fill handle now and I start dragging, it's automatically assuming that you probably want to complete a series. So that's really, really smart. And here you get a new little menu that never used to exist. And it's asking, did you just want to copy or did you want to do exactly what I've been doing and that is fill the series. So you can actually change your mind if you wanted week one all the way down. You can say, no, no, I just wanted you to copy that. So it will change that that way. So whenever you've got week one, month one, whatever, with a number one, it'll automatically complete that, which is really intuitive and really great. Um, it'll also do dates. All right, so here I have January 1st, 2015, the short version, right? So you can see up here that that's what I have. And then I can say, all right, so now I'm going to put in more days. Now, it's guessing that I want every day in January. However, once again, you can come down here and say, you know, no, I only wanted um, uh, months, right? So here, if I double click, now it's giving me the first day of every month this year. Um, and I could have also, instead, I could have said um, that I wanted the first of every year. I could have said I only wanted years, right? So now I have the first of January, but with different years. So they've built in a whole bunch of new things uh, into, into this. Uh, so it's quite powerful. So understand that um, when you have a date or... If you have something with the number one, number two, you have the ability to fill in the series quickly and easily that way. Uh, programmed into, uh, I'll show you what's in the program, but um, days of the week, months of the year are, have already been pre-programmed. So if you went Jan and then you went Feb, it's, it's going to automatically know. So here I'm going to select the first two and it's intuitively going to just guess what the next ones are going to be. It's very clever that way. If you just pick the first one, it doesn't know whether to copy or whether to fill in the series. So here if I go one, it just thought that I wanted to copy one. But if I go one, two, it's going to assume that I just want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go one, three, it's very clever. It's going to assume that I want to go just odd numbers all the way down. So that's your fill handle. That's a couple things that it does. Again, I could be going up, left, sideways, either direction. That's not a problem. Uh, a couple more things that I want you to know, um, maybe a little bit more advanced. Uh, I could start here, let's say, and I could type the number one. And and then I'll just hit enter and go back to that cell. I like to use the fill handle. It's fast, it's easy, it's, it makes sense to me. However, uh, you can also come here and ask for this menu and say that I want to go across columns. So I want to use the series in this column and... I want to go up 
by 1 and I want it to stop at 10 and OK and it just did that so I can undo and I can do a different one just to give you one more look at that so I can go across columns and I can say now that I want it to go up by 5 and I want it to stop at 1000 and then OK right so that went up by 5 and it stopped when I got to 1000 so just a couple of examples as to what you can do with this um, you can also create your own custom lists uh, so this is a little bit more elaborate but uh, chances are they might ask you to do this in the test so we're gonna go to file here we're gonna go to options we're gonna go to advanced and we're gonna scroll down and we're looking for the general tab there's a general and I want to go to edit custom lists here and this has existed for years and um, depending what you do you may have lists that go in an order that is just custom to your organization or your industry so just for the, the heck of it I added these all right and I added this list by simply adding the first four and if you wanted to keep going I don't know them by heart so I don't know what the next one would be but you can just create your own custom list next and then one more and then I can go another so I'm just making stuff up here right and then I would add that to the list and I would hit OK and then OK and the first one was Aries so if I go Aries and now if I use my fill handle in any direction it's automatically going to add what I had on that list so without getting into too much more detail that's your fill handle and those are the different things that it does the first of course is it'll copy something however if you can uh, grow a series in a variety of ways it will do that for you uh, it's a huge time saver and it's a it's a feature that pretty much anyone who uses Excel uses on a regular basis